Hey guys, this is the girl with Benjamin Buttons 01. I'm coming to today with my take on the strawberry letter. The reason you cannot see me is because I look a mess. I'm trying to do my hair, but let's give a listen and let's give. Strawberry letter, and if you need advice on relationships, on work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit your strawberry letter to Steve Harvey SA at gmail.com. All you have to do is click submit strawberry letter. We could be reading your letter live on the air. Thank you, nephew. Welcome back again. Subject, I don't like to share. Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm a 29-year-old female, and I'm an only child. And mm -hmm. I'm no, I met a man that is also an only child, and we hit it off instantly. He was raised by a single mom, and they are the best of friends. The way he treats her, let me know that he is a good man. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of characteristics of my father, and even though he is five years younger, he's got a great career and his own home. I love everything about him, but I do have one pet peeve. He's way too comfortable, too soon with me. We started being intimate two months after we met. He assumed it was fine to stay overnight with me the first time we had sex. I let him stay because I wanted second. He slept in a pair of my joggers that were lying on a chair in my room. He's tall and thin, so they fit, but he didn't even ask first. He did not have on underwear with my pants, and that grossed me out. When he left, I threw them away. From then on, he has made himself at home at my house, and he's even left a pair of pajama bottoms so he can be comfortable when he is visiting. When we're eating, he loves to sample my food without asking, and he digs into my place with his nasty fork. He says he is a, a sharer, and I have told him that I am not. I explained to him that it's the only, only child thing, and he is dead set on changing me. I drink wine, and he usually drinks hard liquor. Now, if he buys me a bottle of wine, he drinks half of it, because he thinks it's cute if we drink the same thing. He's overstepping all of my boundaries when it comes to my personal things and my personal space. The final straw was when he used my bath towel right after I dried off with it. Should I learn to accept this or tell him nicely to knock it off? I mean, you know, you don't have to learn to accept anything if you don't want to accept it. But you were accepting it. I mean, initially you didn't say anything. You were, you, you, you talk about he's comfortable too soon. I mean, you guys were intimate two months after you met. Uh, he wanted to stay over. You didn't say anything then. You said that was fine. You're complaining, saying he's way too comfortable. Uh, you guys haven't known each other that long. That one pet peeve you have, that's a big one, but you got to tell him. Not I don't know what that is. He didn't spit on your own. I'm not you're not a sharer after he said he was, but he ignored you. What the heck is that? Go for it. So you got to make him understand. It doesn't have to be a fight or anything like that. You can do it nicely. You just got to let him know that you are serious about your boundaries. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And that's what you're doing. You're just making up shit. privacy, everyone needs a space, but what's wrong with sitting him down and telling him, you know, in an adult way how you feel? So he just felt like he right like he's, he's going to listen. Again, he said he's, he said he's going to try to change you, but he needs to know that you're serious now, you know, if you're taking this relationship uh, any further. These are simple things. I mean, things that he really should have been learned at home about boundaries. Uh, oh, please. He did, just let him know. I mean, you could be nice. This is uh, even crazier because he said he has his own house. So why isn't he at his own house? Have you been to his own house? Have you seen his own house? Maybe that's the reason he's staying with you. Maybe his house is a mess. I mean, boundaries are important, yeah. I don't think there's anything to fight about or, or anything like that. I just think you need to get it straight with him and let him know how you really, really feel. I don't even think he's just letting stuff be letting stuff. I don't think this relationship needs to end. I don't think this woman needs to be in a damn relationship. I see a totally different letter here. I don't like to share. Well, that's interesting. Because ain't that all the relationship is built around sharing? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, you can't have a relationship if you don't like to share. Because the most important thing you're going to be sharing, sharing two most important things you're going to be sharing is time and space. And that's
that means somebody else is in your time and somebody else is in your space. Yep. And if you don't like to share, you got a problem. But I knew this letter was going to be a problem by the way you started. I'm a 29-year-old female. I'm an only child and a daddy's girl. I know that feels. I'm a man that is also an only child, and we get it off his See, that's where the story came in. Well, the problem is, one of these children don't get it. Who do you He was raised by a single mom, and they are the best of friends. Uh oh. Oh, I know what that is right there. I know you think your mom's a boy. Nope. That don't show up in the letter. But it shows up on some other stuff. The way he treats her lets me know that he's a good man. That's what you got right now? Okay. That's what I thought he was doing with You 29, you almost 30. That's what I just said. He's still young. How do you love him if you don't love him? Thank you. 
Y'all swap more than fucking you. Girl! Thank you! That's not even selfish or self See, that's just... That's just slow. Yeah, let's see. No, let him walk out for that second. I can't 
had had no overnight visitors in my apartment. We going to do this and you got to go. Here's one even better, sis. Let's go to the motel. That way, you don't know where he stays, he don't know where you stay, and everybody has had a good old time. You ain't got to get no food, ain't nobody staying. If he want to stay in the motel, you leave. That's, the, that's it. Because you being ignorant right now, you say, I now, now get it. I understand it because I'm an only, I'm an only child. Okay, so I, I have those selfish things too, because it's like a lot of times I just be wanting my husband to myself, and I, I I get real irritated when he said, I just wish the kids wouldn't talk to you so much. But see, the kids are starting to need him more now, because see, I'm at this point where my kids are grown, and I just want to be on the me and the husband thing, but hubby just don't be on that type of anything. I don't be knowing what's going on with that, but that's a whole other different story for a whole other different time. But girlfriend, I get it, you are, you are, you are, what you said, you are only child, and you ain't used to sharing. See, first of all, that right there, your mother has to get away with that bullshit. That there, you, I don't know how you work in the world. How, how do you get around in the world? Because if you don't want to share, I'm not understanding. You got to be sharing something somewhere because you can't live in this world without sharing something. Your money, your time, your energy, you sharing something. So stop being like, I'm not a sharer. The fuck if you're not? Yes, you are. You are a sharer of something. We all sharing something in this world with someone else, even if we really don't think we are. Cut that foolishness out. He he eating off your plate, girl. He ate you off. He ate off you. He ate you and ate off you. He wore my pants, girl. He wore you. Hell, you mean he wore your pants?